Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Bravely Default. Last time we met Sage Yolliana, Yolliana, who is pretty much going to be what uh, Ring of Bell grows up to become. And um, yeah, we started going through Vestment Cave in order to find the Rainbow Thread, in order uh, for him to be able to make the uh, vestment for... Uh, Anya's, that's her name. So, yeah, just doing some prelim uh, stuff in here. Might as well level up the shops. Got plenty of people. Ooh, Sage Staff, sounds good. Gold Hairpin, that is a gold, Gale Hairpin, oh. I don't know what that does. I know Gold Hairpin is another uh, Final Fantasy-esque games, and it is a good item. Oh yeah, we're definitely getting ethers. Um, and we can have one person working on that. Alrighty then. We're good, we're good, we're good. We're looking good. We're looking <coughs> good. The MP ain't looking so good, but hey, I got some... Uh, That's tough. Well, I wasted that regular ether then. I'll save that for the battle itself, actually. Alrighty. Deeper we go. Is that rainbow thread? It looks like rainbow thread. Actually, it's just a oh, glinting item. Look there. Is that the rainbow thread? Called it. I'm shocked we actually found it here. Now, let's collect it and be quit of this place. Um, wait, we're not alone. A monster? It's monster time. I forgot how hard this theme goes. Like, granted, it's only the first few, like, moments but still all right so we'll have her examine and then default and then default it's weak to water he is a dragon did not see that hp uh what thank god he uh braved there so we're gonna go ahead and use that rejuvenation now <laughs> oh man. He chose violence today. He chose violence. Okay. Yeah, he's just braving. Doesn't seem particularly wise. Okay. He's weak to water, so... I will forget to do that. You know what? Special. I know I'm wasting time, but I got plenty of time here. What does have you normal attack? No. I got plenty of time, I got plenty of time. All right, we might want to speed that up. There we go, okay. I don't know, the music was beginning to wind down a little. I, I was a little worried there. Gotcha, bit. Actually, yeah, we'll, we'll stick on a uh, speed up. So now the magic attack is boosted, so this is going to do like some really good damage there. Uh, default. 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 How much that doing? Ooh. Ooh. Doing them dirty. Okay. I can probably make it through another...
This is like perfection. I, I won't even have to do a summon. Like. Okay, default, default, default. We're gonna save that special. I'm beating that ass. And yeah, I'm leaving things on speed up because I wanna make sure that I'm getting in like all my, um, like just using the combo to its fullest extent. Actually, I don't even need to do all that. I probably can hold off another turn, but we'll go ahead and use Moon Shadow. Or rather, we'll uh, entertain the thought of using Moon Shadow. I beat his ass. Jesus. That. See, when the stars align, like you, you, you can uh, put in some work in a boss fight. So yeah, I know like the speed up breaks the immersion, but I needed to make sure I was using the uh, combos to their fullest extent there. I, I, I had to. And now you see how good that is. Um, well, that was a surprise. This might end up being a short part. <laughs> no one said anything about a monster. Did the old man know about this? It was just a test. If he knew and didn't tell us, he's awful. That would be lying. Mm, just withholding t the truth. How could he put the vessel in danger? Without her, who would perform the rite? Be calm, Mary. Perhaps this was a trial of sorts. A test of my resolve and skill as Vestal. Oh, I forgot about the uh, different ability thing. Or... Not ability, but the, um, um, tutorial things that I was going to do during that fight. Oh, well. Regardless, we found what we came for. Let's return with the thread. Party chat. Rende's population. It is growing. Hmm, the village is coming along well, but there still aren't enough people. I hear you. It would be nice to up the place a little. Can't you send out word to everyone you know and ask for their help? You three are everyone I know. Oh, er, right. Sorry. I'm afraid the only people I know are those from the temple. No, that... that makes sense. Don't look at me. I'm not conscripting women into physical labor. Uh, fine. I guess I'll have to ask my people, then. I'll just... Oh, right, I kind of went traitor, huh? Well, then we'll just have to go meet some new people to enlist. Yeah, but how are we going to... Details, we'll just head someplace with a lot of people and trust our luck. Hint, hint. You street pass in places with lots of people, like anime conventions. God, I miss street pass. I miss it so much. What were the things I needed to do anyway? Oh, go to Bravely Second and summon a friend. Well, I'll probably definitely be doing that on the next uh, thing. Why am I walking normally? We Use the freaking teleport stone. Let's get out of here. Oh god, I'm gonna have to actually make it back to Yuliana safely, huh? Well, I am stronger now. So maybe the enemies won't be a bother to me. But you could just turn off random encounters! And you could just shut up. Voice in my head. Okay.
Well, that was a fun, quick battle. Now we must be on our way. There we go. I was trying to enter from the wrong side. Yo, what's happening, Pig? Yo, what's chilling, Fox? Back in one piece, are you? Very impressive. Then you did know! A word of warning might have helped you, old lech! It's been so long since I set about crafting Vestal Garb, <laughs> I'd completely forgotten. I believe you were in a hurry? I'll begin straight away. All the haste in the world won't see it done before tomorrow. Make yourselves at home till then, hmm? <clears throat> Agnes? What's the matter? Trouble sleeping? Sir, do you remember this pendant? I've treasured it like a good luck charm since I was a child. Ever since the day you gave it to me. Hmm, that brings me back. I remember it well, child. I'm pleased you've held on to it all this while. It gives me strength. In dark times, I would pray to it, talk to it, and the stone would lend me courage. Keep it close and keep it safe. Someday it may serve you better still. <sighs> and the other girl? The one who was with me when last I was here. Do you remember her? Oh, little Olivia. Yes, she serves now as the Vestal of Water. Sir, have you heard anything of her? Is she safe? The world's oceans began to fester the same day the darkness took the wind crystal. It's the crystal of water that sustains the seas. I fear. I fear the same fate has struck the Temple of Water. Or worse. <coughs> I need to know if Olivia is safe, but I haven't the means or the time to seek her out. I'm afraid I know no more than you. All I can say is that she's not come to this place. I see. Tell me, child, would you care to share what else is on your mind? <sighs> I'm uncertain. Until a few days ago, I lived a hermit's existence, sequestered in the temple, surrounded by acolytes. I knew nothing of the world outside, know nothing of it still. How can I be sure in the face of that ignorance? How can I know that the path I walk is the right one? Hmm. Recent years have seen the people's hearts and minds turn from the crystal orthodoxy. Its practices are all but forgotten. Yet even still, they regard the crystals and the vestals who tend them with an innate reverence. Carry out your duty and keep faith, my child. Therein lies the path the Vestals show to all humanity. But I... I'm still so weak. Compared to the Mother Vestal, I lack in everything. I could not stop the dark from swallowing up the crystal. I cost those women their lives. And all the world's people, kings and commoners alike, their eyes bore into me. Whether in expectation or disappointment, the weight is crushing. My shoulders are not broad enough to bear the weight of it. 
the hopes and fears of an army of strangers I've never so much as seen before. They frighten me. I am unfit to show them the way forward. I barely trust my legs to carry myself alone. But they have. Despite the blame and fear, you fought this far for the world and its people. Your fight is a noble one, just and right, and beyond any reproach. But now the time has come to set others upon that path, guide them to follow in your steps. Just as the Vestals have ever drawn upon the Crystal's light to illuminate the way forward for all mankind, so must you. Words are powerful things, my child. The Vestal's words doubly so. They are a force capable of driving man to action, of sustaining him in times of need. You've walked your path for humanity's sake. Your love of this world has been your fuel. Now let your words be theirs. Share your path with them. They'll decide for themselves whether to follow or not. <coughs> the world will choose as it may. But if you open your heart and point the way, you'll ignite a spark of hope within the hearts of countless men and women. Hope? You sound like Tis. Oh? Already begun lighting those sparks, have you? <laughs> You'll reach them, child. Speak, and your words will find a home. Then I had best choose them wisely. God damn, I forgot how good some of the performances were in this game. Ooh. Agnes's voice actress fucking kills it. Oh, you look marvelous! Mmm, I knew it. You're every bit the wonder I imagined. It really suits you, Agnes. Whether it suits me or not is of little importance. These vestments are a tool, and their purpose strictly ritual. Thank you. <laughs> Phew. <laughs> A night's work feels like seven at my age. I thank you for your sacrifice, Sage. Your efforts will see the winds return. Oh? If you really cared to thank me, you'd plant a kiss on my cheek. You're shameless. <laughs> Is that another tradition surrounding the creation of the Vestal Guard? No, no, Agnes. No, it's not. Don't be naive now. No! It's the sad fantasy of a lecherous little toad. What? Unacceptable. <laughs> <laughs> I do love a girl with a firm touch. Come back any time you need of me. I'll do all I mean. It's like at night, he's only able to be, like, just a good person. <laughs> only at night. And then it's like he wakes up in the morning like, oh no, I showed weakness, empathy. Quick, I need to reel it back in. I need to save face. <laughs> Well, I don't know about going back to the temple now, because, I mean, I, I can go now, but there's just one more thing we gotta wrap up, but first, ring a bell's reconnaissance. Just a moment, Tiz. Huh? What is it? Hmm? Something wrong? Nothing at all. This is a matter between men, my dear. Uh-huh. Now, where was I? Ah, oh, it is. 
Last night I chanced to awaken and notice you and Agnes were absent from your beds. What's more, you took your time coming back. Anything you'd care to confess, old chap? Just what trouble does a stick in the mud like you get up to? What? That's none of your business. Oh, come on. Out with it. All of it. Every last sordid, juicy, scandalous morsel. Out. I woke up and saw she wasn't in her bed. Yes? Yes? Then what? I got out of bed to look for her. Right, right. Sensible enough. Go on. Get to the good part. I heard a sewing machine running, so I went to the Sage's workspace and found them talking. What? Talk about a turn for the boring. He listened to what was on her mind and offered her some advice. I promised myself I'd do a better job of helping her, too. Hmm. Yes, alright. So, is that it, then? That's it. What'd you expect? We're only gone maybe 15 minutes. And besides, why were you up? Hmm? Me? Er... You know. Anyway, I nodded off after a few minutes of watching Adia sleep. Uh, my dude, what? Y yeah. Alright, enough whispering. Just what is it, you two? Ahem, <clears throat> nothing at all, as I said. It is. Ha ha ha. Shameless, hopeless pig. We got some beast liver there. All right, you know, you know get to work on more of that. Mm -hmm. Looking nice. Might as well update the data while I'm here. I didn't expect uh, those scenes to run that long. So I'm actually not going to... Uh, go talk to uh or not not talk to but rather wrap up the uh side quest of the water just yet we can get down to business with that next time and then after that we'll go back to the temple to uh fix the uh wind crystal there why do i even fucking bother why do I even fucking bother? Spootsick, what, what, what are you doing? Kenneko, what are you doing? What? But you, Riley, you of all people, send me a power one hack and slash. You hate to see it. Oh yeah, let me just check his uh, inventory. Oh, it is looking nice. Yeah, we can start buying materials now. Uh, more on that later. Actually, no, I think I can start using them now, but like, I won't get their full effect until later. Yeah, I'm still not about that ogre club. Some instant cutthroat kill with a carbon knife. Really, the bastard claws are good for him. It, oh my goodness! Ring a bell. Um, yeah, we're gonna get those for him. Mm hmm. It's too expensive. It, it, it's good, but it's just too much. I would only be able to get it for one person. Friendly Bash, it freezes your aggro level. Holy shit, that could. Hmm, why have I never bought that before? It raises brave attack rate. Oh my god. We'll, we'll save money for those. Yeah, I don't think I ever really took advantage of uh, shopkeep. I was missing out. Like, I think I would just get items from them, never equipment, because I kind of had it implanted in my mind, like, oh, his equipment won't be as good as what I can get from the various stores. Riley, that's what you sent over here. Fuck you, Riley. That, that's Riley, always ruining everything for everybody. 
Look at me. I'm Riley. Yeah, yeah, okay, Riley. Nobody cares. Let's throw them all on that. Alrighty. Might as well head on, on back to... Um, And chime, that's what it's called. Okay. But yeah, next time we'll wrap up the side quest, which should honestly probably prove to be another short part. And then um, the video after that will be wrapping up this chapter. Minor spoilers. Just had to be silent to make sure, um, like, j just to hear who was calling on the old house phone. It's a robocall. And this is very nice and convenient. Will make my job easier because it is nighttime. I don't see the trigger here. Um... Or do I just enter? No, there's somewhere I have to enter at night time. Hmm. Oh, well, I've found a hidden teleport stone and a gold hourglass. Oh, man. I need to explore more uh, fully, huh? Oh, found an ether. Okay, just had to check to make sure I wasn't losing my mind and... Um, no, yeah, you're supposed to be able to enter here at night time, but it looks like I have the right idea, but the wrong time. Um, we won't actually be able to do that until we go to the uh, wind temple, so that, huh. Well, then I guess next time we are, in fact, beating this year well not technically being the chapter yeah, you, you'll 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 see what i mean next time I'm doing a quick little run through there then and might as well get the magic i'm missing we're at a point where shell will actually be useful arrow eh. i mean it gives anyez some offensive magic so sure why not these can't do much with them yet. These maybe there are some bosses that are susceptible to these. Would be most helpful. But sleep, they'll just wake up the moment I hit them. So we'll just do this and that. Ah, screw it. We'll get that too. Why not? I have the money. Buy all the magic you can when you can. Alrighty, so, um, yeah. That is, in fact, gonna be it for today. Next time, now that we have the Vestal Guard, we're going to the Wind Crystal. Oh man, we're gonna do the ritual. We're gonna save the day. Oh, Frappus Day. Kalu Kale. Thank y'all for watching. Have a great day. See you next time for some more Let's Play Bravely Default. Goodbye.